So what about green tea? I know you like green tea because you make sure to add it into your anti-cancer supplements and you added it to Complete Green. So I know you think there's really good properties in it, but do you think it makes people reach their ideal weight? Does it suppress appetite? What's the deal? It has a mild positive effect because turmeric, the curcumin derived from turmeric, green tea, also some other herbs have phytochemicals that have anti-angiogenic and anti-estrogenic effects. So yes, green tea has anti-angiogenic and estrogen lowering benefits. And so it magnifies the benefits of mushrooms. Green tea also also has some ability to raise local IGF-1. Raising local IGF-1 maintains muscle mass and maintaining your muscle to fat ratio helps you burn more calories. Good for you, not bad for you. Green tea supports muscular utilization and production of IGF-1. Local IGF-1, not systemic IG-1 to bathe the breast and the prostate to increase risk of cancer. Mm-hmm. So even though I'm saying meat eating raises IGF-1 that damages the prostate and the breast, increases cancer risk, green tea has some IGF-1, but a type of IGF-1 raising effects only localized in muscle tissue that helps you maintain and prevent muscle wasting with weight loss or with aging.